What's the crack, lads? What's going on? Happy Sunday. We are back with our unique series where we look at a Monday preview of the packs that are going to be coming. So we did get it wrong last week. It wasn't so much that we got it wrong, but I think that they kind of withheld a little bit of the Barcelona Legends last week because of the big time and because of the event that was going on. But this week, we do look to have these Legends coming with this English Attackers pack. So there is the pack in full with the three Legends that we are thinking that will come. Now that's, you know, that's pretty much what we're thinking will come on the Monday because obviously the big time are over and I think that they will be bringing out Cantona and Yorkie and Keane are there as well. Now there is one other player that we'll get into at the end of the video that might potentially make an appearance instead of Keane, instead of Robbie Keane but it looks like for all uh, that we know these are the player cards that are going to be coming we're not going to spend too long on the actual you know pr like the English league attackers right because I don't really feel like that there's any in here that are going to be you know changing who you have in your squad but I do want to talk about York Keane and Cantona because they're very kind of yeah they are going to shake it up a little bit I don't think that they're going to be meta 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 if that makes sense so the first one that we're going to look at we'll get rid of this page is going to be Gakpo, who, if he stays at 34 levels, I don't see him staying at 34 levels, he is going to be a centre-forward build, he's got some really nice stats, none of these cards are going to have boosters, right, but they will be getting the manager boost, I have a video coming out on that as well, so keep an eye on that, and we also will be taking a look there at his tight possession, which is quite high, his acceleration, which is quite high, and his finishing, which is quite high, so this is a very, very, very solid um, Liverpool centre-forward, I hope Liverpool don't trash us today, lads, I, I'm worried, man, I'm worried, it's an hour to kick off i am worried right so speed acceleration balance balance is a little bit low but type possession is pretty decent i've been a big fan of type possession stat especially since v3.2 um i will be doing a video on the stats and how they've changed as well if you want to check that out very very soon on the channel make sure you're liked and subscribed with notifications on we also have Diaby, Aston Villa, probably been the surprise package of the Premier League this year. They've been awesome they've been absolutely incredible what a team what a performance week in week out from them dribbling ball control excellent bit of a letdown with this guy lads is his type possession but again as i keep saying if a player has got low type possession and they're a forward type winger they usually have good balance and that is the case with the abbey who is going to have pretty much maxed out acceleration and balance but he's also going to have 80 finishing 96 dribbling type possession at 83 and ball control at 90 so a very solid card the rest of the players in this pack, lads, I'm not going to waste time. This is just a short and quick video, right? Short and to the point, as we like to do here. No flaff, no nothing, just straight to the point. Pedro Neto as a right winger. I mean, again, even if he has 27 levels, um, dribbling is going to be nice, but you're also going to have an issue with he or also going to have his balance and stuff pretty decent. This is what I'm talking about with a player that is able to hit a lot of different, um, you know, stats, right? Now, his passing and shooting, you're going to have to make a decision what you want there. I would preferably like to get his finish into at least 78. But if you don't shoot a lot, I mean, don't bother training or, pass or shooting and just go passing with 75 passing. That's still a pretty decent card. I mean, you're going to have tight possession at, seven, at 87, balance at 88, and of course, that acceleration and speed. We also have João Pedro, who's down as a center forward. Again, just a traditional center forward, lads. He won't have 41 levels. Some of these players their levels need to be updated obviously when the servers go live on the monday and it's refreshed but again brighton have been pretty decent this season as well he's got it all i mean even at 30 levels which i think he'll probably get he'll probably be able to get you know 86 87 passing or finishing 88 dribbling is quite decent he'll be able to get 88 acceleration and of course we had to get his speed up but the problem here is his acceler or his um balance that's going to be low because he's quite you know pretty clunky on the ball we have calvert loon who's going to have the same issue you know you're going to be getting kind of like mid 80s uh with the finishing and the acceleration not really worth talking about jolington i will do a full review on these when they do drop on the monday we'll also be streaming that's at a level 31 which i think he might have very decent attack and midfielder but to be honest with you um we'll have to see what player skills and that he does get finalized and then we have this guy from Chelsea, Madueke. Very, very solid, very, very pacey. I mean, even at 25, 30 levels, right? You're going to have that balance up uh, very, very high, as we like to see here into the 88 zone, which is nice, or even more if you want to max out his acceleration with 97. And of course, the speed is going to be maxed out as well. So super sub, extraordinaire. But again, you're going to have to, you know, complement that or uh, really understand that you're not going to have the rest of the stats. They're pretty decent. Solomon has had a good season as well. He's going to be, listen, all of these players, man, until Cantona and the legends. Cantona is the real one that they're, that people are probably going to be waiting for here. This is a 32 level build of Cantona, which I think he'll probably have 32 uh, levels. If he has more than 32 levels, man, even if he has 33 levels, that will mean that you're able to give him a little bit more dribbling. 
um, or else a little bit more lower body, right, which will bring him to the 98 zone. Now, with this build here, we're not taking into consideration the fact that he might get a booster. So for his dexterity here, there is a chance that he might get a dexterity booster to his acceleration because of the high stats. I personally think he'll get one to shooting, which is why we've maxed it out at 86, plus the four, which would be his plus two booster and the plus two manager booster. That will give us a, a 90 finishing player. Dribbling, ball control, and high possession will be all in the high, uh, low 90s. And then, of course, we'll have acceleration at 90. But the thing about this card that I like, man, is for a tall, strong player, um, you're going to have, you know, 82, 83 balance. If he, you know, gets a booster to that and he gets 85 balance, this card could be very, very, very OP and very unique. We also have Dwight York. Again, Dwight York and Robbie Keane, if they are in the pack, which it looks like they will be. Tie possession, balance, acceleration, and finishing, very similar. Uh, Dwight York's balance is very poor. Um, that's the only stat that I think is going to be a massive concern for him. Balance, they've kind of changed it a little bit. But because of the collision system at the moment, I don't think it's as important as tie possession. I think tie possession is a very key stat. Now, there's one other player before we end this video. Kagawa is in the... Um, He's in the actual system here, or the database here, right? Down as a Manchester United player. Um, I would say, based on that jersey there, it's probably from, you know, the naughties type season, maybe, you know, 10, I think, or 12, 13, as they say here. Um, but whether... I didn't even read that. But uh, I was trying to look at my, my shirt knowledge. Sorry, boys. But I don't think that he's going to come tomorrow. I think he'll probably come in a different pack. Um, so it will be interesting to see. But as I said, that is the full pack there that we think is going to be coming on monday let me know what you guys think are you going to spin or skip and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content uh, uh personally for me i'm kind of torn at the moment because i am doing this kind of road to glory with neymar leading the line um and i will be kind of like doing you know every stream i do now uh every two streams i'll be doing one road to glory stream which i know a lot of people are enjoying a free to play and newcomers um to see how far you can go with like a zero spend account and just all the freebies, and then the other one is kind of like my sweat one, right, uh, I don't know what Dwight York or even Robbie Keane, listen, if somebody was able to like, you know, give me Robbie Keane, of course I'd love him, I think his original legend card is fantastic, that was available on the eFootball Point shop, it was a really, really solid card, Cantona and Yorkie, obviously as a United fan, I'd love him, if they do end up coming, um, but for the rest of the cards, man, I just don't see any of those making even my bench on my road to glory, Gakpo is an interesting one, especially if his form is going to be up, and the Abbey, especially with Aston Villa's form, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, I'm slightly torn, man, I think it's going to take a very, very special card for me now to part with some coins, I mean, unless I just want to go the collector route, I would love Cantona, um, if he has got an iconic celebration or something like that, but let's see, so that is it for me, lads, hope you enjoyed the content, I will talk to you Monday, and we'll see you then, peace.